special guest. Okay. Okay. All right, special guest. But I got there's a story behind this one. Okay. Boy, the problem okay. with my cowboy record was listen, I used very far advanced fish mask. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I had bad as you. That's why you had bad as Yes, because, because you, I used state of the art. Like high spots mask. Yeah, yeah. You, you, know what I'm you were putting perfume on a pig. Oh, oh, oh! I love that illustration. Say, oh, we're all we are on air. Boy. Yeah. Oh no, I I, hey. I made sure that I got that joke on air. Oh yeah, I love that boy. That's very true. And yes. we have to go back to putting stink on a pig. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Th that's why my Cowboys didn't win a game since I came out with that high dollar. Mask. Official Ray Mysterio yeah. mask, okay? Which I don't know how you got a hold of it. I assume you <laughs> borrowed it from somebody for a couple Ray, of Ray months. laid it Ray laid it down. Yeah. He's still he's still he's he, still looking for Ray it. Ray had to do three shows as, as like Ray, WCW Ray Mysterio. Yeah. Okay? Where this seems a little bit more rational for you. Yes, you exactly. Right now now I don't feel so bad. My Cowboys won. That's what the whole story is. But I'll say that it's a lot of good stuff. Okay. Cowboys won yesterday. Uh Believe it or not. Real ugly, too. Kind no, of oh, it's ugly. ugly. Nobody wanted to win. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of like me and you working each other. Nobody like wants to go over. It's, it's kind right? of like that mask. It's kind of like <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So, what I'm able to do this issue is bring things back down to earth. I was getting a little too big for my britches. Yeah. I, I sold a few books. You were looking at the Super Bowl. Now you're just talking about playoffs. Oh, yes. Exactly. I, I just want to, like, get invited to, like, the first round. Okay? So... Uh, and all this will be explained. Of course, we'll tie it all in together as we do once we open up the show. But yeah. we're not there yet. Yeah, okay? let's, let's right. do that right yeah, now. we got to open up the show. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Dad You Don't Work. You wrestle. You are the claps. You know what time it is, George. How was your weekend? Boy, unbelievable, folks. Please do not adjust your volume. Please do not call the police. Please do not report this, okay? This is... Heck, don't even so, watch it. Nobody yeah, but, else is. <laughs> why should you? <laughs> Yeah, don't even like like watch, okay? If you could take uh, off a view from the little counter down below, <laughs> try and do that as well. Oh, I'm missing my headband. Dad, burn it. I'm missing my headband. So, folks, believe it or not, this is Dad. You don't work your wrestle television episode. All I know is we're closing in. I don't want to knock it on. I don't want to give us ballot. We're closing in on 150, I think, bullet, which is or something a, like that. Very yeah. close, which is a very good honor to me that you would actually even sit here uh, 150 times with me, That's a bullet. Lot. So I appreciate, I have actually spent more time with you than I have my uh, first wife. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Boom, boom. Okay, boy, so glad first to wife. be here. Yeah, second wife? Uh, yeah, third so wife? glad. It's like Rick said on his podcast, he said, let me see if I can remember if I'm married or not. But anyway, yeah. well, I'm so glad to be here with that's you. That's a good Ric Flair joke. Coming so, from Ric Flair, that's a good one. So much going on here, boy. Uh, the only reason I'm holding this poster, I ain't showed it in four weeks. I just want to thank everybody, everybody, boy, real, real quick. Friday night. Unbelievable success right up the road here. C.C. Griffin Middle School. Everybody knows the story. My Wahoo tribute. Of course, had Ricky Steamboat there, made a guest appearance. It was just a good night. Well, but sometimes it works. Uh, I, there was a high school football game right up the road that we were. some people were concerned. I wasn't. I told everybody, I got the dragon and I got Jesus. I think the odds are in my favor. Okay, Bullet? Okay, so, but anyway, just a great turnout. They did good on concession. They did, everybody was happy, Bullet. And as a professional wrestler or comedian, may I add, the greatest compliment that we can get anywhere is to be invited back. Right, Bullet? Kind of. That's very true. Exactly. And so for them, they definitely want to do it again next year. We're very, very excited about that, Bullet. So it just, it was a good time. And I think everybody, all of our students got to work. I created all kind of matches. Everybody worked hard. We took care of the gym floor, which is the very first, uh, first priority, as you know, Bullet. So everybody was happy. We got out of there, and I just want to thank everybody that, that made that show such a good success. And uh, I've had some young folks, they ask questions about Wahoo. That's why I do these events, Bullet. Lord knows it ain't to make any money. Uh, uh, I ain't figured that part out yet. But uh, a few people asked about Wahoo, and just to keep his name alive, as you know, as yeah. much as I love all that. So anyway, did work our buddy, Jimmy Jack Funk. He hit me with the hardest tackle. I reached up and punched him. I told what. I said, I know you ain't been around us in about five years. Just because you moved to Raleigh don't mean you had to forget how to work. Uh, he about broke my shoulder. I, I mean, easy, Bullet. Just touch me. You know that, Bullet. Yeah. But anyway, so just a great night. Everybody's happy. I thank everybody for 
their uh, uh, participation. It was just a great, great night, boy. So, with all that being said, we move forward, okay? Yes, we do. This coming weekend, boy, I, we're not right there yet, but I do want to give an early happy birthday wish to my sweet twins, which will be uh, uh, having a birthday this coming week. Mm -hmm. uh, I call them the killer bees, because mm -hmm. when they were little, uh, very, very Jim Brunzelsish. They would actually go under the table when they were in trouble and come out the other side, and I'd be all confused. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know who. That's a very good illustration. Very good. Uh, very good. I wouldn't know who to punish mm -hmm. when they both came out from the other side of the table. So I didn't know who didn't eat their peas. So I just had to uh, put them both. You know, put them both open. Neither one of them had heat. So yeah. anyway, Killer Bees will uh, have a birthday coming up. We're very, very excited about that. Uh, it was kind of neat. I told them that I, they want to go see this movie, and I told them like, they love to eat at Al Applebee's. Of course, they said, dang, Dad, your gimmick table must be doing good. So there ain't many daughters in the world that relate their relationship with their dad on how good the gimmick sales are. Yeah, But uh, anyway, thank you, everybody. Bullet got a brand new case of books in this week. Bullet, I'm very, very happy. Saturday night, we will be headed back to Drexel. Uh, I thought me and you had killed that town, mm -hmm. but I don't think we did, Bullet. Uh, I will be there with a lot of our students uh, this coming Saturday uh, back there at uh, in Drexel, North Carolina. Where, and, I, where I will be, uh, I was yeah, supposed to be there, weekend. I will be in uh, West Virginia that day uh, for our buddies uh, Eric and Cody of yes. the West Virginia Championship Wrestling, and I will be with Freight Train, and uh, I don't know how this makes sense, but I am wrestling... I, I I forget the names of the guys we're wrestling, but my tag partner is Kid Cash. Yes. Now I why, why that that how that partnership what? happened? I don't know. I saw that poster with those two individuals together, and I'm thinking about the the I, era their name of is time. escaping right now. I know one of them is Jack Miller, and I don't know the other guy. Uh, but uh, my once you see Kid the Cash. tag team of y'all, you it could be it, it could be Flair and Hogan on the other end. You wouldn't even pay attention. Yeah, to yeah, it. yeah. I'm, I'm just telling you. Never um, thought I'd ever team with Kid Cash. Ever. Never. Ever. So, I just think it's kind of neat because you're teaming, you know how I am, you're teaming with somebody that actually had an action figure. I'm just saying, but yeah. you know, I, I don't care if you can work or what, but if you get an action figure, yes, Kid Cash did have an action figure, uh, Bullet. So, I'm just impressed, uh, uh, very envious, not because you're tagging with him, but because you're tagging with somebody with an action figure. Yes. So, now, if you get an action figure, I'm going to really be hot, Bullet, okay? Uh, uh, we're going to come in a two-pack. Okay. Uh, the books, uh, uh, one of the accessories mm -hmm. that you can buy and hold up, okay? Uh, but anyway, uh, and then, what, Sunday? No, what else after that? I thought I seen oh, something before else. before then. Before then. Okay. Before then, I'm doing improv. Uh, uh, this Friday night, I'm doing improv at the Charlotte Comedy Theater, the NC Music Factory. And then the day before that, in, I believe, Fort Mill or Rock Hill, South Carolina area, I am doing stand-up comedy late night, oh. 1130 at night. Uh, Get used to that, boy. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be I'll be doing that, but I'm also gonna be doing a, a open mic before then, and then do a show that night. So tons of comedy for me on Thursday, and then improv on Friday, and then wrestling on Saturday. So it is the official uh, Jake Manning hat trick, oh. as I've called it, and it's in three different states: North Carolina, South Carolina, and West Virginia. Oh, me, so. bullet! I love that. Uh, yeah, that late night thing is just right down your alley. Yeah, well, yeah. you're just like getting in. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, and the thing is, so, I had to tell people that's going on, not just for promotion, but nobody thinks I'm doing anything unless I tell them. Because apparently yeah. that's the way the world works right now. And even though you're doing good work, if you don't tell people you're doing good work or doing things, if yeah. you don't say it as much as possible in every media outlet, people don't think you're successful. That's exactly so right. Even though if you are and you're doing it and doing a great job, it doesn't mean anything unless you and sit and brag. You say it. That's unless exactly you sit right. here and brag, which I hate doing, because <laughs> that means that that puts, validates me, and I hate that. And, and I hate see, myself. and boy, with all that you got going on, I love to remind the fans that that is just a small tip of what you're you you're, you you got going on. I mean, that's just a small tip of what your job is. Yeah. Uh, on top of everything else, yeah. uh, and occasionally putting a ring in. Occasionally, uh, uh, you know, as Dusty told me, kids, your problem is you can work. Well, that may be your problem because now everywhere you go, you're having to work with the top guys because you actually know the spots that they want to do. Yeah. Amazing, ain't it, people? Uh, wow, that's, how that's that works. That's problem I have right now with the patron. I was homeboy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I took uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake Sleeper. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, yeah. Tell Twice, me. two nights oh, in a row. Oh, I love that. Which, uh, uh, you know, the night that he had probably a few more drinks before he got to the ring, <laughs> the sleeper was a little bit lighter that night. So if you ever get in the ring with Brutus, I highly recommend giving him a couple shots before he goes out there because it was a little stiff the second night. Because he's going to put you out. Middle Light just doesn't do the trick for him anymore. <laughs> he's, he's had a few main events in his days. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, tell me I ain't never won a match when Bruce was one of my favorite people just with the WWF payoffs and stuff like that. So, uh, well, anyway, with all that being said, before we jump into our edit uh, of the week, boy, I do want to explain this a very exclusive mask that I have on. Everybody yes, knows that my uh, my love for the Dallas Cowboys, of course, we're going back the first of the season. They they come right out of the gate, won everything. Man, I come coming here cocky, strutting, very Lex Luger. Good Lugris. team last year. Oh my goodness! All the more reason for them to Man, be just we, as good. We're going to the Super Bowl. We got everybody back. And so what I do is I actually except that guy that couldn't get more than twenty yards rushing oh, oh, yeah. for Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's not oh, back. Yeah. Oh yeah, very very China ish. In WWF, when she got a little cocky and thought she could leave WWF and we'll make millions, and all of a sudden she left WWF. DeMarco and, China Murray. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, I love that. Boy, that <laughs> that's a very good illustration. So De DeMarco China Murray is realizing, oh my gosh, I probably should have just like stayed on the other side of the fence. But anyway, with all that being said, I, I marched into our great studio with my great co-host, Cocky. We're getting ready to win it. Go ahead and give me the Vince Lombardi trophy after the second game. And so I broke out... Uh, First time ever right here on this uh, TV, great TV shows, I broke out the uh, Rey Mysterio mask that was actually probably more Rey Mysterio Dallas Cowboy edition than what Rey Mysterio's got. Very cockyish. I presented it on my head and, 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 and bragged to you great fans how I was going to wear it. Probably you would probably never see my face again because you're going to be seeing this mask every week. Every, every week that they win, you were going to wear it. I was, yes. And unfortunately, as people can see from screen caps oh of previous episodes in the last couple of weeks, <laughs> they've been seeing a lot of your face, <laughs> which so, is the complete opposite of your entire career at Jim Crocker Promotions. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, it was this. Yeah, it was saw. that part right well, there. That's it, what they saw. Eat it, Joe's. Okay, yeah, boy. So like, uh, with blinking lights on it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I am first to admit that I have been humbled, okay? Two broke collarbones on Tony Romo. Uh, the bottom has fell out. Uh, it is, I heard, the, uh, it's so bad for my Dallas Cowboys that WWE was even thinking about canceling WrestleMania. No, I'm just kidding. They were, canceling about, uh, they were even thinking about canceling WrestleMania at Texas Stadium. It was so bad, boy. But... Uh, anyway, with all that being said, but Bullet, uh, I appreciate all the jerseys that I was able to get real cheap during that losing thing. This time, okay, they won yesterday is what I'm getting at. Uh, I don't know how. Uh, nobody wanted to win that thing. Uh, how can you be 3-8 and eight and still have a chance to get into playoffs? Not that I'm complaining, NFL, okay? Yeah, the NFL's nuts right oh, now. No, it's, there, there are people that are 5-6 and six that are still in the hunt for a that, playoff. That's exactly break. right. And uh, uh, so, with all that being said, I have humbled myself a little bit, bullet, okay, still wanting to show my pride for the Dallas Cowboys and the success of their win this uh, last night, excuse me, of course. So, I have broke out, not the Mil Mascara, I mean, not the, uh, the, the, the Rey Mysterio WrestleMania, but I have came back to my roots, bullet, okay, come back to my roots, uh, have not discovered all uh, uh, yet out shooting uh, uh, whatever he was shooting at, a raccoon or something. Uh, Jack Clampett back Jack in the day. Okay, yeah, back, back, I didn't know where you're going with that reference. Uh, so, I am going back to my roots, uh, and I have broke out the underneath, I will call it the underneath uh, mask. The, the, uh, the, um, the, the Bobby Fulton Iron Together yes. West Virginia yes. mask special. Yes. The mask that takes $8 to make, but yet you still sell it for $10, <laughs> and then you out... Under, undercutting not only the guy that's undercutting high spots, but you're also undercutting high spots, <laughs> and then you think you're doing something because you're making two dollars per yeah, mask. Exactly. Like, look, I made forty dollars when really, in fact, you spent probably about you know twenty five. Yeah, know. yeah. You, spend, it's, it's, you almost spent just as much to make it. So, so uh, right along those lines, bullet. I have humbled myself, and I feel better now that the Cowboys won. And I am not even going to go out on a limb and say that I will wear this through the playoffs. Because I'll probably end up with a bucket on my head. Or one of them bags like the Saints did that year when they were losing so bad. So, I feel more comfortable in this, as you said. Uh, putting perfume on a pig, as we illustrated at the beginning of the show, is is, is not me. I feel more... Uh, 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 Charlie. Yes, uh, yes, exactly. This, Very, this is your backup quarterback edition. It sure is. That's what, Thank you're going, you. that's what you're going into. This is the official... And I'll move on. This is the official broke collarbone backup quarterback-ish... Uh, mask. The Matt Castle the Matt West Castle. Virginia special. Yes, exactly. Very good. Two dollars per. Yeah, sure, you made forty dollars, but you spent yeah. thirty-two dollars to, <laughs> to do it. So, nice job. Congratulations. Yes. So, thank you, Bullet. That's per, that. And and 
that's why uh, I, I'm wearing this mask. So, uh, so, so you can you can be a loser and still celebrate a win. I guess that's what I'm saying. That's the theme of this show, Bull. Does that make sense? Not Allegedly. Yes. <laughs> so, with all that being said, Bull, there's so much going on in this world right now. People are crazy, Bull. This guy today really aggravated me. Everybody knows I eat at Bojangles every day of my life. I got the whole synchronized. Man, I know how long that heat lamp stays on before my chicken becomes old. I know it all, Bull. I know more than the young man behind me. So, this guy, Omar, okay, who's just here making minimum wage, just trying to make a biscuit. Today, in the nicest voice I could, Omar will go into my idiot bag, Bullet, because all I ask him for, and, and this is, I'm giving a little inside scoop to our fans as we're here to educate everybody, Bullet. When you go into my favorite place, the Bojangles, I always ask for a fresh biscuit. I do, because if you don't, they give you whatever's up there. And I hate that, Bullet, seriously. If I'm gonna spend five bucks now, okay? If I'm gonna spend five bucks and get my drink, I want a fresh biscuit. I went in, not as a jerk, as a professional customer, bullet as I am. Well, yeah. With, with my five customer. bucks, yep. professional customer. Did not have the hood on. I do want to add that. I didn't have the hood on. That may have changed the way this story's going if I'd have had the mask on. Yeah. Okay? But anyway, boy, uh, I asked him as nice as I could. Omar, there was nobody in the place. Just me and him. A couple of ladies asked, could I have a fresh biscuit? He said, I sure will. He said, I'll take care of you. I was very, very happy, bullet. So I get my drink. I pay. I go down that aisle. And I'm watching Omar. Okay, and I know he's young. He hasn't, like, really paid any dues. He really doesn't know how this work thing goes yet, okay? He's just trying to get a few bucks for his date Friday. I watch Omar get the little clicker thing, okay? Now, Bullet, listen to me. And this is why Omar, we're going to sit it back and we'll finish up this show. There is four fresh. The ones in the back, I know this, Bullet. I stay up at night focusing on Bojangles and their biscuits. The four pans in the back are fresh. The ones up front are very underneath-ish, kind of like this hood. Okay, and there's one biscuit. This is the picture I'm painting here, fans. I know you're thinking, George, get on, get a, get a life. But listen, so there's one biscuit here that I know somebody's done sent back. Probably dropped, bullet, probably, I mean, it's there. It's probably the one they used in the commercial, okay, to tell you to come and eat. That's how long this biscuit's been there. So what does Omar, who is the future of our America, bullet, okay, uh, what does Omar do? Yes, you know, folks, Omar goes without thinking, without remembering our conversation that this sweet customer had uh, two minutes earlier. The promise he made to you. The promise he made to me. That's the thing. If it had just said, go sit down, I'll bring you food, I'd have been okay. He promised me. He's like, sorry, sir, I have to get through these. Yes, okay. yes. And he's like, no, you want a fresh biscuit? I will get you I will biscuit. deliver. You don't have to ask me. I know you come in here all the time, and I will deliver. You're a nice guy. That's I, right. I pre appreciate your patronage. I know this is a chain restaurant, but you're in here all the time. Yes. I will do you a solid and get you a fresh biscuit. Thank I will you. serve you breakfast at Subway at, at 11.05. Thank you. Even though, you know, you came in here late, but you're always in here and you're getting breakfast. I will That's bend right. the rules for you because you're uh, sorry, That's right. a little emotional it, it, there. Even though so. you <laughs> choose to come here when there's 12 other restaurants uh, along this line, mm -hmm. but you choose to come in here every day, I will I will perform that service for you, uh, Mr. Dad. You don't work, you wrestle. So, anyway, what does Omar, as I'm standing here, kind of foaming at the mouth, waiting to eat this warm, warm biscuit. But, but I even saw the butter, like, melt on that tray behind. Mm -hmm. Okay? Really. So, what does he do? Y'all know the end of this story. Omar, we're going to eat it back because he just goes, pinches uh, the biscuit, and just puts it on my plate and brings it to me without thinking twice, without even saying. And so what do I do, Mr. Great Customer? I know I need, boy, as I said, what about your promise? That's what I told Omar. What do you, he said, what do you mean my promise? I said, promise, you just promised to me two minutes ago, okay? He had done forgot about it, boy. Yes, I did, America. Yes, I did make him take that biscuit back. I feel sorry for the next fellow that came in and got it. But anyway, and then I got my biscuit. You can say, George, the world's coming to an end. The uh, 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 famine, uh, everything's taking over. Donald Trump's uh, trying uh, to deport uh, everybody. Donald Trump's going to depart. Uh, uh, Omar's probably going to be on Donald Trump's list next just because of the biscuit incident. Yeah. And uh, So, George, please. But what I'm saying is, America, this was the first step on us recovering and becoming a great nation again. The coming well, together. The coming together of all of us as Don't one. Divide, bring together. Bring together. Begins with keeping your promise. Right, Bullet? So, Omar goes in the idiot bag for breaking the promise. If it, That was the key. So, America, if you want to fix everything and start on the right track, keep your promise.
right? Words, no. words mean something. They sure do. In other words, so don't tell me you're going to do something if you don't do it. So I sat down with my butterly fresh hot biscuit. Omar may have lost his job over the old situation, but it all could have been prevented. Mm, so. you got to keep your word, even in spite sometimes. That's exactly even right. Even in spite. That's exactly right. But, folks, what you will get that we will not put under a sun lamp and we will promise to butter it is... The second greatest book of all time, <laughs> which is available fresh every day oh, boy. at highspots.com. <laughs> if you want to know more about what me and George are doing on the weekend, make sure you follow me on social media at Manscout Manning on Twitter and at Manscout Manning on Instagram. This has been another edition of Dad Unit Work, You Thank Wrestle. Thank you, boy. Good show, buddy. Good show. Fresh every day. I like that. That's my new... That's my new tagline okay go. bullet Serve we make fresh. them fresh we make them fresh every morning okay we won't get it off the the, the empty pan yeah i won't give you that one that's been <laughs> forever tell omar to keep his promise